Hey guys, Calvin Russell here, Managing Broker of Park Place Realty. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today we're going to talk to you guys about how to handle issues from an inspection report. Let's go straight into it. So for those who don't know, an inspection is when you actually hire an inspector, preferably a licensed inspector, not your uncle, not your cousin, uh, not someone you just know, but someone, and of course now they are licensed and that's fine, of course. Uh, but they look through the property and they let you know the condition of the property. They let you know recommendations, what you need and what, need, you know, what needs to be done. It was not that big of a deal. Um, you want to also use this time to ask the inspector any questions. They're going to make that report. And once they make that report, you're essentially going to have more than likely some recommendations. I've seen new construction homes have recommendations, okay? Because there's always something that's missed, all right? And sure enough, when you get that list of items, it's okay to submit that to your attorney and your agent of the items that you want the seller to consider either repairing or giving you a credit for. Now, keep in mind, the seller is in no way obligated uh, to give you either or. They could just simply say, no, you guys cancel the contract and you guys go your separate ways. However, at the end of the day, this, most sellers know uh, not necessarily what's wrong with their property, but they know that there's going to be something that the buyer may ask for in general. Okay, And this is where you want to use that time to set the proper expectations. Number one, don't take anything personal especially when you're submitting those things uh, directly to the seller to consider having repaired, okay? Um, of course, again, you have to look at the seller's situation. Uh, financially, sometimes they're not in the best uh, situation to actually take liquid money out of their account to pay a contractor. Some are you know, just older. They don't want to deal with you know, play project manager, looking at contractors, getting prices, and going through the timelines of how soon people can kind of get to some things, okay? So there's a lot of that kind of going on. So just make sure that you have the right expectations. You, Some people, I recommend asking for everything that's on the list. Um, some people only want to ask for the deal killers. I like to see what the seller's willing to say yes to and no to. Okay? And then, of course, your agent and your attorney is going to show you ways to kind of get what you want, if you want anything. But try not to make things a big deal. Don't take things personal and don't make the small things a big deal. Also, look at your resources. Um, you know, obviously, if you have a buyer where their dad is a contractor, that's a little bit different than a buyer that doesn't have anyone in their family that's a handyman. Right. So I get that dynamic. But don't forget your resources. You may have a friend, a family member, someone on Facebook that could possibly you know, get some of these repairs done. I'm not saying don't ask for them. I'm just saying prepare for the worst case scenario. If you really love that house, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to put yourself in an uncomfortable situation. But at least ask yourself, if I love this house and the seller says no to this, will this keep me from buying this house? Yes, it needs to get repaired. Right. But at the same time, uh, you most definitely can you know, just look at your resources and just say, hey, can I get this done? at some point. Yes, this issue is major, but I can find someone to get you know, that issue done. You can also ask for a sell of credit. That's going to reduce the amount of money that you have to bring to closing. Okay. And then another thing to kind of bank on is to hope that it shows up on the appraisal report. If you're going FHA, there's a very good chance that a lot of uh, things that are not necessarily cosmetic, but things that play a major role inside of the property, like it could be chipped paint, it could be making sure that the appliances work, or a lot of different variables. But either way, uh, you know, some things do show up on the appraisal report, which in most cases the sellers have to fix. Now, not like have to fix because it's not a part of a contract, but usually when you get that far in a deal, if they can financially do it, mo in most cases they're not looking to cancel a deal and start all the way over. Okay? So that's essentially how you're going to kind of deal with that. And of course, feel free to reach out to your agent or your attorney uh, for more information. For more videos like this, keep watching our channel. If you like this video, like it. If you want to share it, share it. And as always, be sure to subscribe as we have another great content well on the way. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you in the next video.